guys welcome back to another video today i want to be telling you guys how to make a game pass or badge G only gui so you know um it's going to be a fast quick easy video so let's begin um so basically you have your frame here and we're going to make it so this only appears when you own a thing a badge whatever it's called and stuff or game pass so we're going to get the local player let's get that player that local player and now what we're going to do is we're going to check them. Um, actually, we're going to put this right here. You can name this whatever you want, but you know. But no cool GUI. It goes script up here. So basically what we're going to do. We're. Now if you want to go to the, the. Another way. You just go like this. And you can also make this a script. Toss. Yeah, so we're gonna make this we're gonna make this server script for sake of this video. So you can go to server script service. Now you're here. Um I'd prefer this way because if it's in started UI, then people with hacks could just enable it automatically. So you know what I mean? Um so let's let's start writing it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do game.players.player added connect function and we're going to be the player right there so basically it's only going to award the um the gui if they have the game pass or badge upon joining so if they don't have it before joining then they have to rejoin so you know um now what we're going to do is we're going to do if player um, or sorry, sorry. We're gonna get the service. It's not player. Okay, so game. Yes. Game get service, and you know there's all these services. There's not really many. There's bad service and marketplace service. So we'll do local badge service. Let's game get service. Badge service, okay. If MPS user owns Game Pass as sync. Now you're gonna need the user ID. So um player.user ID. Simple. Now this is the Game Pass ID. So I'm gonna put it like that. I wanna make a variable. ID equals to yeah. So now we're gonna make a badge ID also. Now, if you want to do a badge only GUI, then you're only gonna copy half of this and you can delete the left. So this will be the script for part one right here. And now you could just press then. And if they own it, it'll give the GUI to so local clone equals to um script dot oh sorry. Script dot screen GUI clone. Clone dot parent equals player dot starter GUI. A player GUI, I'm sorry. So basically what this is doing is cloning the screen GUI and putting it into the um players player gui and so this should be pretty basic right now and it should work off the bat so if i join the game we'll have it like print like a number two if it prints two then it we know it's working so i'll put oops okay Okay, well, you have to put an actual game pass ID, so hopefully this is six, seven digit. This should be an actual thing. Okay, it's actual game pass. So I think, hopefully, that was game pass. Um, so this is for the game pass. Um, you can just have this part. 
So let's say if I own the Game Pass, it would show the GUI. I know that would work, but you know. Now, if you're going to do for a badge only, I'm just going to copy this and paste it here. I'm going to delete you. Oh, I'm going to, you're going to change this sector to badge service. User, user has badge, I think. So just going to check this. I think this one's deprecated. I don't know, but, um, you're going to go player ID, user ID, game pass ID. So now badge ID. And now this should work as we test it. Okay, so now, sorry about that guys, but so now it should have printed, oh, uh, we got rid of the print thing, but, um, so like, it is working. So if you guys want this to be used in your game, then, uh, you know, so I'll have this linked in the description, not linked, sorry. Paste it in the description, please. You know, give this video a like, thumbs up, comment, subscribe, maybe. You know, so this is gonna be for um. This is for uh. User ID, player. Dot user ID. And game pass ID right here. So this is if you know. This is for the Game Pass. So, um, you know, there's a couple things. If you want to customize it, like if you have this named a certain thing, you might want to change this or I'll just add a variable. Local GUI. Script dot screen GUI. And change screen GUI to um, GUI name. So, you know, um, it's a simple script, easy to use. Uh, but you know, short, simple, easy. Uh, yeah, so that's really all. And you can also still have local scripts in here and they will still work. But, uh, you guys can go cop this for yourself in the description. If you guys need any other help with GUI videos, I will try to post more. I've been busy with school lately, so I haven't been uploading. I haven't uploaded in a month, actually. Uh, but, you know, um, thank you. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.